fellow loomers. Uh, I am knitting today um, this um, angled uh, stripes. It's a lace stitch pattern today. And uh, it looks good in different gauge of looms and uh, yarns. Uh, on this one, this is a half an inch um, a gauge loom and uh, the yarn is a chunky yak wool. And this lace is coming up pretty well. I'm knitting a hat here for, um, and there is an another one that I just started. I'm knitting a headband on uh, 20 pegs. So this is a eight stitch and uh, sorry, six stitch and 10 rows pattern. I'll be uh, knitting here in this video only the eyelet rows. There are five eyelet rows um, alternating with knit and purl rows. So let's begin with row one. For the project that I have, um, I've costed on uh, 20 pegs, peg one and peg 20th are half a stitch for clean edge. And then uh, the rest of the 18 pegs in between is divided in six, sets of six for the six stitch repeat three times here. I've already done the first repeat and I'm on second repeat. So one repeat of six stitches the row one is purl four, and when you are purling and knitting, keep it very loose, keep your tension very loose. So purl one, purl two, purl three, purl four, and then there is knit two together. For knit two together, you will lift the peg here, a stitch here, and move the yarn peg from the yarn over peg place it back. So the yarn over peg is empty now for the yarn over and there are two stitches here for the K2 tog or knit two together. You'll pass the working yarn simply in front of the uh, empty peg and start the next set of repeat and purl four. The gauge of this loom the is uh, 716, and the yarn is lighter chunky. It's a chunky yarn, but uh, wool, but it's a little thicker. It's between chunky and worsted. So I've done purl one, two, three, purl four, and then knit two together. For knit two together, we lift the a stitch, bring back the stitch from the adjacent peg, and knit these two together. The first few repeats would be a little tighter, but then they become loose as we continue knitting. Row two is, it is flat knitting. So row two is knit two and purl four. I've knitted two and I'm purling four stitches. Purl one, purl two, three and four and I'm keeping the tension very loose in this row because next row we will be moving stitches and it gets easier. So it's purl two, sorry knit two and purl four. Purl one 
equal to three and four. So row one and two are complete. R knitting row two now, row two is purl three. So purl one, purl two, purl three, and then there is a knit two together. You lift the stitch on this peg, bring the peg, a uh, stitch from the adjacent peg, place it, and then replace the stitch that you have lifted. This is the fourth peg of this uh, uh, repeat. One, two, three, and fourth is knit two together. So there are two stitches. We'll knit them. Knit one, knit two, yarn over, and then knit the last, the sixth peg. Once again, purl three, purl one, purl two, purl three, and then knit two together. Now you might be thinking why I'm lifting the stitch, bringing the um, uh, yarn over a stitch, uh, placing it on the K2 top uh, stitch, and then replacing it back. This is, when we do this, we get this raised rib-like knit which gives a structure and texture to the knit fabric. And you can use this uh, stitch for knitting many different things. Uh, it looks good on blankets, scowl, mittens, hats, Row four is knit three and purl three. So knit one, knit two, knit three. You're going to knit and purl very loosely. And purl three. Purl one, purl two. See, I'm not kind of a tightening it, pulling it. I'm knitting it very loose, just this, okay? And then this is the half a stitch. It, you just turn around, don't knit it, and continue to row five. Row fifth is purl two, K2 together, yarn over, and knit two. So it is purl two, K2 together, yarn over, and knit two. This is row five. Row six is knit four, and purl two, knit one, knit two, knit three, knit four, and purl two. Purl and knit very loosely. Turn around and begin row seven. Row seven is purl one, knit two together, and knit three. Knit one, knit two, and knit three. 
equal one knit two together and yarn over and knit one knit two knit three row row eight knit five and purl one knit one knit two knit three knit four and purl one the last eyelet row begins at row nine which is the knit two together is the first peg so we'll lift the stitch bring the uh, stitch from the next peg backwards place the stitch we have lifted back on the peg and knit two together and yarn over and knit four once more the first peg is the k2 top so bring the stitch backwards from the second peg replace it and knit two together and knit four knit one knit two knit three knit four and the last row this is uh, the eyelet row which is the ninth row and the last row which is the tenth row is when we are coming back from left side uh, the last row it will be simple unit this completes this beautiful stitch pattern